Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. ¿Me logran escuchar? Can you hear me, guys? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't know what happened to my computer, <laughs> but it just died. So, I don't really know what's going on. Okay. So, in the meantime, guys, allow me just a moment. Uh, let me see if... Let me see if I am able to turn my computer back on, all right? But in the meantime, guys, eh, let's do and let's work on this activity. Um, I will give you 30 seconds, all right? Uh, I want you to think about a famous person, okay? Uh, don't write the name in the chat. Don't say the name of the person, but you can read super quick some general information about this singer, dancer, president, Anybody you select. Is that all right? Is that clear, guys? Are you right? Hi, Ricardo. Okay, guys. So 30 seconds. You have exactly 30 seconds to look for this and to select a famous person and look for information on this famous person. So let's get started. Uh, remember, don't say the name of a movie, don't say the name of a character, just general information. Are you ready, guys? Are you almost ready? Let's do it. Okay, amazing, amazing, sounds good. Guys, what about the rest? Are you ready? Uh, Judy, are you ready? Do you have the name of the person ready? And um, so, uh, Kenya, are you ready? Angelica? Arnoldo, uh, Francisco, are you ready, guys? Yo no he entendí, no he entendido qué vamos a hacer. Eh, okay. Solo entendí de buscar información de la, de la, del famoso. Ok. Eh, de cualquier famoso puede ser o de los que usted mostró. No, no, no. Any, any person. Ok. Any person. Mm -hmm. But that's why, so it is super general, guys. Not necessarily from the, people in, uh, from the people in the pictures, but any person you have a little bit of information, that is okay. Hi, Enrique, great to have you. Nice to Imagine, see you. Thank you for joining. Guys, uh, me escuchan doble? Can you listen to me very well? Or si me escuchan doble? No, no, everything good. Okay. 
I don't know what's wrong with my computer today. Okay, guys. So let's get started really? with this little exercise. Okay, remember that the activity is so get familiar with famous people, right? So we're going to talk about these famous people. And uh, give me just a moment. Uh, give me a second, guys. Uh, I don't know if it's my internet, pero los veo congelados. Like, I see you super, super frozen. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off my computer a moment and hopefully everything goes uh, back as normal. So in the meantime, let me share my screen right here. And this activity, guys, was to talk about some famous people. So you got to select the person you the person you want to talk, the person that you are more familiar with. What, what's going on? Hold on. Hold on. I guess my, my computer doesn't feel like working today. So that's a bit weird already. So uh, while I am able to make this work, uh, let's get started, guys, and let's work a little bit with the people you have selected. So um, don't tell us the name of the person, but just give us general information, and we will try to guess who this person is. Don't say movies, don't say characters. Uh, guys, who is ready? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect, Mauricio. Let's go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, the, people, the person that was I chose it was the bear core backer and story and win many Super Bowls. So, uh, can you say the information one more time, please? Uh, he won't. Mm -hmm. Again, again. Was the bear or a backer in the story? And he won very, he, he won a lot of Super Bowls. Okay. So, he was the best uh, quarterback. Okay, quarterback, right? He was the best quarterback and he right. won a lot of Super Bowls. All right. Guys, are you familiar with this person? You can ask questions to Mauricio. Is it a basketballist? Uh -huh. Is it a basketball player? I'm not Tom familiar Brady. with Superboy. Who? Tom Brady. Is it Tom Brady? Yes, in special because it was the better core backer. Oh, okay. We are talking about American football, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm not familiar with the sport, so I'm like super glad here. Whoa, but Enrique, I'm super glad you got it. Okay. Amazing. It's, Thank it's, you. It's like, like the feather in the tennis. Okay. I have never heard about this guy, you know. Yeah, I'm not familiar with American soccer, that's why. Okay, but that is good to hear. Uh, Mauricio, can you select another person, please? Can you pick? Hi, Andrea, great to see you. Uh, I guess Enrique, because he... He got it. <laughs> okay, Ruben, good evening. Thank you for joining. Okay, Enrique, so tell us, give us some general information about this person, okay? And let's see if we can guess. Okay, is a soccer player. He have a number seven in always teams. Um, it's a captain of your national selection. Uh, so you're talking about El Salvador, right? No. <laughs> Portugal. You are lying because he... Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> I think that when you said the country, that, that was like too easy to get. <laughs> Barcelona. That's Cristiano, correct? El you. Bicho. You. No. El Bicho. You. What is it, Enrique? 
Es el bicho. Sí, sí, sí. Siu. Siu. What's that? Es su firma. Oh. Y es su sign. Ok. <laughs> I feel super lost with that. But ok, that's all right. Enrique, select another person, please. Judy. Ok, so Judy, are you ready? Don't tell us the name of the person. If it is an actor or actress, don't give us the movie, don't give us the character. Just very general information. Guys, you can ask questions. Don't ready. So, so. I think uh, the actor Thor is the name Chris Hemsworth. Hemsworth. No podía decir el nombre. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Otro, Because, otro. Uh, yeah, think about another person. Don't give us the name. For example, the yes, general description. You can give us personality, physical description. But don't give us the name of the person. Uh -huh. oh, Think about it. No, that's okay. That's okay. No problem. Think about it and we will come back to you. Arnoldo, are you ready? I don't know if Arnoldo is there. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Think about it. I'll give you some seconds. Francisco, you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love your emoji. That's super cool. <laughs> okay, so give okay. us the description. Okay. Don't give us the name. Okay. Um his um married current wife may make making movie. He has uh 58. 58. 58. He is 58. 58 years. He Stop, has, stop, stop, He has oh. um, six children. Six children. Six children. Okay. And Brad Pitt. Uh, <laughs> déjeme terminar. <laughs> Le faltó que me Go ahead. Le faltó Go ahead. Tiene información. Parte really? De, he, has, he has very handsome. Oh, he's more handsome. Working on, on the movie Troya. Uh, don't give us the name. That was... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, are you seriously so talking funny. about Brad Pitt? Yes, he's Brad Pitt. Oh, my God, guys. How do you know that he has six children? Or if he is 58. He is 58 <laughs> years old. Wow. He's very old. I didn't know. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Francisco was in the middle of it. Okay, but that is all right. Guys, who wants to be next? Gabby, are you ready? I think Helen is working and I saw that uh, Angelique, Angelique is working too. Uh, guys, what about the rest? Are you ready for next? Delmi, are you ready? Uh, okay, Andrea, perfect, let's go ahead. Okay, she was considered the most beautiful woman of the 15th. So she's considered the most beautiful woman of? Of the 15th. 50. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. That was too easy, I think. <laughs> Make it hard, guys. Give us hard hints. Give us hard clues. So these guys have a hard time guessing them, but very nice. Anybody else who's next? Uh, Imelda, are you ready, guys? Um, Ricardo, are you ready? Yuri, are you ready? Delmi, are you ready? Yeah, working in um, Cemetery side, the uh, day. Hey, five. Yes. Uh, 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 six. A bike. Bike. In the colonia. Oh, in the 
Okay, I'm not sure if I got it. Do me a big favor. Uh, write a description in the chat, please. Y le ayudo a leerlo. And I, I'll, I'll help you at reading that. Uh, so we can make it clear. Uh, yes. Yeah, please. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, I think I heard Belen somewhere. So Belen, are you ready to? Yes, I think I'm ready, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Belen is ready to, okay. <clears throat> Maybe, uh, okay. First of all, is a she, and she had, a, a, she wasn't smart. She doesn't like to smile. Um, it's very darkness. Um, but it's, um, how can I say? It's a teenager. Oh. Um, he loves her family. Okay. But he doesn't um, uh, show them. Okay. Uh, or has um, some kind of different way to show them. <laughs> uh, it may be a clue teacher because... That's hard. It's, yeah, it's an actress, but it's not the actress like that. It's the papel of the actress. El personaje. The character. The character, yeah. Is this a movie or is this a soap opera or a TV series? A movie. Oh my God. Like a Zendaya? No, no, no. Think about it. No, the, the, the character. Like the el character. personaje. She's talking about a character. Guys, so movie. Okay. I, I, I will repeat it. But okay. I, I think Young Kerry. Young Kerry. It, it's a darkness person. Um, she loves her family. It's a teenager, obviously it's a girl, and she had a different way to show that uh, she loves their family. Okay. Uh, she doesn't like to smile. Um, doesn't uh, he doesn't use makeup? Makeup. Oh my God, this is hard. Guys, no, no is a stranger thing, pero me parece. No, but a movie no, she said it's not it's, it's not it's eleven. Sorry for you. So she says that this appears in the movie. Uh, what about is the classic? What is the skin color? Oh, it's like uh, Blanca Nieves. Es es como Blanca Nieves. Blanca como la nieve. White. Super so white. She has white skin. Yeah. Super well. um, guys. Gambito. What? Gambito dama. Interesting, but no. She she actually no smiles. My girl doesn't like to smile. Oh my god, guys. So in which movie <laughs> the girl okay. doesn't smile? That is a very hard one. Very interesting. Guys, Did you give well? <laughs> I, I, I am not much into movies, so I don't really know about it. Any idea? Give us a name, so anybody, or give us more clues, uh, Belen. Okay. Um, she only used uh, the same uh, peinado. How do you say peinado, teacher? The same hairstyle. The same hairstyle. It's like trenzas. Oh, my God. So she wears dresses or plates. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Any idea? Elsa de Frozen. No, it's darker. <laughs> Me estoy dando la versión opuesta. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She doesn't like to smile. Yes. Question, is this an animated movie? No. Okay, this is not an animated yeah, movie. Yeah, is a actually already have an animated movie, but the 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 real one, it's not animated. Oh my god! In this I, year, I have movie. just seen only Dragon Ball, <laughs> <laughs> Naruto. So I have the just... Loco Hans, no sé. uh, ah, Exactly. Oh my god! Oh. Very nice, Enrique. Yeah. 
Wow. In English, and the name but of the, the girl is Wednesday. Was... What's her name? In English, and the verse and in, in the English version version is Wednesday, but in the Spanish wow. version is uh, Merlina. Oh, it's not miércoles. <laughs> yeah, so Merlina. Okay, Merlina. okay. I have I could never think about those. Wow, that's amazing. Guys, it's a classic teacher. Yeah, I have but I have seen series, he, but never have a race, isn't it? Well, no, but it's a película teacher, no una serie. I remember I saw it like an in, in an animated version with the Flintstones con los picapiedras. So but that was a long time ago. When oh I was a little God. girl. <laughs> when I was like seven or eight years old. So, <laughs> okay, tell me, what is your description? Very nice one. That was hard. Okay. He's a very funny person. Mm -hmm. He has a pro program with a family. Mm -hmm. He's married to Alessandra Rosaldo. Oh. Has a daughter. Eugenio Derbez. Derbez. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So nice. I didn't know the name of the wife, but that sounds good. Okay, Ricardo, sounds really nice. So, escoja una de las películas, one of the person or characters or actors, pero no nos diga quién es. So, you have to select the person, right? You have to select the actor, actress. A president, anybody, so or a I character will. if you prefer. Mm -hmm. So, um, y acá le ayudamos, no worries, we will help you out. Um, a joven. So, pero ya nos dijo quién es, so that is too easy. No nos tiene que decir, you don't have to tell us who the person is. Yes, Mauricio. Yuri, ah, yeah. ahí como con ganas, como la veo ahí. A Yuri. Sí, sí. Yuri. I know. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Judy, Judy, you look different today. So is your, is, is your hair, uh -huh. do you have curly <laughs> hair? Is your hair curly? Yes. Eh, es mi cabello es mi reto diario. Wow, but I love it. No, pero se le ve bien genial. That looks amazing. Pensé you. que había mojado por eso. <laughs> Era día de baño. <laughs> no, Judy, but your hair is amazing. I like it. It looks very good. Thank you. It looks Thank really you. cool. My hair is not curly, but wavy, so it's horrible. All right. So, Judy, tell us what is the description that you have? Um. Okay. No sé, estoy confundida, no sé cómo describirlo. Oh, you can give us very general information. Yes, he, she, uh, she okay. is Salvadorian, he is from he USA. Is, very general. He's an um, actor of United States. Mm -hmm. uh, he has much movie. Okay. Is Leda, no sé, teacher. Don't worry, that's okay. Uh, is very is very beautiful for me. Oh, okay. Is he young or is he old? Perdón. Is he young or old? Or old. He's old. Yes. Okay. So he's an old person. Uh, guys, ask her questions. So you can be free, you know, to ask her questions. I guess this is George Clooney. Oh. Is it George? No. Okay. He's beautiful. She says that he has a lot of movies. He's old. Uh, and he's very attractive. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Will be he? Uh, he have uh, movie action? 
Okay, so he has action with this. Keanu um, Reeves. Oh. Sorry? Keanu Reeves. No. How? Oh. And he's from USA, right? No, I'm sure. Who can I'm you? Not, not sure. But... Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise. Is yeah. it Tom Cruise? Oh, yeah. okay. Very nice. Okay. So, wow, Tom Cruise, but he's very old. <laughs> okay, he's very old now. Uh, guys, uh, does anybody else have a person? Hi, Carlos, good evening. Ruben, great to see you, Ruben. Good evening, good evening everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that, Mauricio? Now it's your turn. My turn. Oh my God. Okay. Let me think about a famous person. I don't want to make it that easy, but I am not like much into that. Okay. Hold on. Uh, so this person is a very famous actor, um, but he, I think he doesn't have movies. I have only seen this guy in some series. There is one specific series in USA that was super famous. He's old, he's not very young anymore. He's not American, but he's British. But the series is American. So Ramsey. Who? Ramsey. No, it's not Ramsey. Um, in the, oh, uh, I cannot tell you much. <laughs> Wait, okay, in the, in the series, he is a very mean person. So he's a bad person. Um, he is the main character, of course, but he's super mean. He has a bad life, a bad reputation. Um, he doesn't Charlie. have... Who? Charlie Sheen, I guess. Charlie no. Sheen. No. Um, so he has... I'm always... I'm always... Who? Robert Pattinson? No. Um, no, he's uh, British. He's from Syria. Henry Cavill? No. <laughs> he doesn't have, I think he doesn't have movies, but I'm not sure. Oh, he plays the piano. Um, he speaks in the series. Who? Fine. Movie Fine Furious. No. This is no, <laughs> oh, Tom Ellis. No, that's not Tom Ellis. No, I, it's true from Lucifer. No, but it's not. He has only one best, best yeah. friend, but he's a super bad person. Um, so he's mean, he is a stingy, but it's not Sheldon Cooper. Stingy. Cooper, yeah. no, uh, uh, Belen, you don't play piano, Sheldon but... Cooper. No, that's not really in, in the in, in the in the story or in the series, he plays the piano, he plays guitar, he speaks Spanish, English, uh, and Korean, I think, or Japanese, I'm not sure. Um, and he's super intelligent, he's super smart. Doctor House? Yes, that's Doctor House. Yay! That was hard. I didn't know how to explain that, but that was all right. Yes. Yo tenía entendido yes. que no es británico, sino que él es de África. Oh, really? Sí. O sea, yo vi cuando le hicieron el cast en YouTube y él es de África. I need to investigate more because I, I read that he was a British man. Well, de hecho, su inglés es británico. I don't know if you have ever listened to the guy, but he has yes. a very nice British accent. Uh, but he appears in this American story. So nice. That's a very nice one, guys. Uh, so uh, Ricardo, nos debe your description. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Uh, email that to. Uh, uh, I think uh, I'm missing Gabby's. Ahí le mandé, teacher. Yes, yes, but nos tiene que describir al, ca al cantante, you know, a la actriz o a la persona famosa. You have to describe the person. So, uh, mm -hmm. Friday, so, cuando, cuando ya lo tenga, 
Yes, but, pero no nos digan quién you. es. Don Delas, no nos tiene que decir. So, uh, cuando ya tenga la descripción, let us know and, uh, and we can get it. Okay, yes. guys. So, in the meantime, let's move on a little bit. Um, and um, I'm having this part because yesterday, if you remember, we were practicing a little bit of who, what, when, where, etc. And questions, right? And we were practicing how to make a subject and just like normal equations. If we, if we need to make a question out of these famous people, uh using who so and uh, we want to be super general right how would you make the questions guys imagine for example um that uh, we want to i want to know the estas photos from the pictures we have right here so who wait who um is the most I don't know, give me a second. Who is the most successful actress? So uh, talking about uh, these pictures, who is the most successful actress, guys? Julia, I guess. Julia Roberts, teacher. Probably Julia Roberts, this one? Yeah. Okay, well, what about the, the rest? Actress, what do you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. But maybe famous, if we're talking about a woman, maybe it could be Marilyn Monroe, even if she's dead, but she's very famous. Now, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. A movie, a cook. cook. Uh, what do you mean? A movie, a cook. Oh, what do you mean, Ricardo? A que se refiere? What do you mean? I'm going to write it in the chat. What do you mean? So that is. Old. Old. Person. Mm -hmm. Person. Okay. Uh, write to me. Write to me that one over the chat, please. And I'll take a, a look. A movie. A movie. Cold. Uh, do me a big favor. Escríbamelo en el chat, please. Write it over the chat. Let me let me take a look. Let me take a look at that. So, um, if you remember, guys, a part of the things that we were checking are how to make questions. So we can definitely start with who is. We can ask questions like who acted. No necesito auxiliares. I don't need any auxiliary, right? So who is who acted? Who was part? of this movie, for example, et cetera. And that would be it. So these kind of questions are super easy. I have some exercises for you talking about this part of WH questions. Okay. And uh, here we have a question, uh, question practice. So guys, just ready. Yes, tell me. Ya le mandé. Sí, pero no sé a qué se refiere. Explain to me, please. Está en silencio. You're, you're, you're mute. A movie, Fox. Es una película. Y el personaje, ¿quiénes son? Esa película. A eso me refiero. Ok. Uh, but, but I'm not sure. Yeah, well, but in either way, escoja una persona, so select a person, y nos describe esa persona, because that is the activity. So, uh, do me a big favor, describe la persona. So, describe the person, please. So, cuando esté listo, puede usar el traductor, you can use your translator or anything, you know, and, and we'll take a look. So, um, guys, moving on a little bit with this part. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about these kind of questions. And if you remembered, we have subject questions, que es la que acabamos de ver, who, what, those are the most common things. And cuando yo quiero más información, when I need to know more information, I am going to use 
the whole structure, subject, verb, complement, auxiliary, etc. So let's take a look at this one. I'm going to circle this so you can remember that when I want to know who did the activity, who did the action, this is the easiest kind of questions. Guys, I have this for you, okay? So if you remember, we can use um, a couple of words like what we can use, where, we can use when, we can use who, uh, we can use which, right? Why or how in order to complete these questions. So can you work on them a little bit, please? Help me with the first. What is the question in the first? It says, was carrying a bag of magical artifacts uh, which weighed 52 kilograms. Who? That's it. Who? And that's it. <laughs> so just like that. So it says, who was carrying? Uh, guys, do you have an idea? So who was carrying a bag of magical artifacts that weighed 52 kilograms? This is a movie. I understand, I understand teacher, your question. It's about a movie that I have to guess. Uh, they are related to movies, yes. So movie okay. characters, movie names. So the first one says, who was carrying a bag of magical artifacts that weighed 52 kilograms? Any idea, guys? Oh my God. I just think in Harry Potter. <laughs> Actually, it is. So it is Harry Potter, exactly. Uh, oh, question you know the weight. Yeah. <laughs> question number two, guys. Couldn't ride a broomstick. Ya le mandé, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I'll check in a moment. Uh, so, guys, number two. ¿Cuál es la segunda? What is number two? What is number two? What is missing, guys? Holy, a ready, broke, a windy, why, thank, windy, puppy, from. So, number two, um, what is missing? Uh, remember what oh. we checked yesterday? When this al inicio, when normally this is at the very beginning, the most common expressions or the most common words that I'm going to use are who. And what? Yes, so that's it. So number two, who or what? What do you think? What? Who? What? What couldn't ride a broomstick when he was 10 years old? Oh, but it says when he was 10 years old. Uh, who, who it's a right? Person. A person, exactly. We're talking about a person. Number three, guys. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown has got a... Pero Where? No sé el que tiene. Where? I don't know what Where? the person has here. So Billy Brown, Billy Bobby Brown has got a. Ah, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What would be the question in this case? What what uh, what does have? What does? No worries, no worries. So let's remember. What Billy Bar? What's Millie Bobby Brown? Auxiliary. Have? Subject. Si es un poco complicado, like make, yes. uh, make it together, you know, put the elements together. Utilizamos siempre el orden. So try to follow this order. So we have uh, what, all right? What? This one says has got. Was? No. Uh, do. Okay. What is the other possibility? D, R. Okay. If you take a look, tenemos dos verbos, tenemos has y tenemos got. Guys, tenemos un auxiliar. Do we have an auxiliary, tell me? Has. Okay, very good. Has. There we go. So, guys, I'm going to give you some seconds para que lo podamos armar so we can put it together y luego la comparamos. And then we compare them, all right? So just a couple of minutes, guys.
Guys, if you have questions, if you have doubts, eh, please let me know. Si tienen dudas de cómo armarla, if you're not sure, let me know and we can do it together, no problem. When, how, I went and I think I got it, teacher, but I'm not sure. Number three, the third. Yes. Okay, okay, that's all right. What do you have in the third? What has Millie Bobby Brown got? Just a moment. Allow me to um, just type it there. So that would be a what has okay, Millie, Millie Bobby Brown mm -hmm. got. Okay, guys, do you have the same? Do you have something different? I don't have anything. You don't have anything? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if you take a look, uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, if you take a look, guys, tenemos presente perfecto, right? So, yes, that's going to be has, uh, tenemos got, even, también podemos cambiarla, we can change this a little bit, and we can use this, like, what did Millie, what did Millie get, right? So that would make sense as well. So that is just fine. Okay, guys, let's go over a couple of them. All right. And I need your help with the following. Number four, Watson wrote this story when? Oh, take a look at this one. No sé cuándo. So what would be the question here? And uh, so Whoa. give me Whoa. just a moment. Uh, so. Andrea, I'm going to give you question number four. Uh, I see Imelda's hands up. All right. Uh, yes, Imelda. Uh, sorry, I, I can speak very well. <laughs> oh my God, Imelda, your voice. Yes, uh, if that is voice. okay, if that is okay, escribalo, miss. Write it in the chat. I don't okay, want you to hear your voice. Yes. Yes. Um, in number three, the verb is not gotten. That is a very nice question. That is definitely good. You know, um, this combination is not very common, but we have, yes, we have the two possibilities. We have sometimes get, we have got, and we have garden. But sometimes, uh, in American English or in British English, uh, you will not see gotten. It's the most common that you will see is got, para ambas. So you will see something like get, got, got. And sometimes in formal English, you will see gotten. That is a very good question. So, Teacher, yes. I thought that, for example, when uh, if we already have the has, we have to put the, the, the other verb in the normal. Uh, and, With and, no conjugation. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I already have has. Uh, For example, when the when you use the, the other verb is not in past, it's okay. in present. Okay, vamos a revisar eso. We're going to review that part because no, see, I can't go. So we got to change the verb okay. a little bit. Mm -hmm, but we will review that, no problem. Okay, guys, can you help me with the others, please? Can you write them in the chat? Uh, so I'm going to write in the chat, guys. I'm going to assign you some so it can be a little easier. Oh, hey, Rafael, thank you so much for joining. When did writing what's on this story? Okay, so give me just a moment. I'm going to assign a couple of you guys. So number four, uh, Andrea and Enrique, please help me with number four. Andrea and Enrique. Number five, guys. And let me see. Mauricio and Ricardo. Help me with number five. Mauricio and Ricardo. Gonna be number five. Uh, okay, number six. 
So Judy and Belen, so help us please with number six. Number seven, so tell me, uh, please help me with number seven and uh, as well as Arnoldo. So number eight, guys. Um, Angelic is not here. Uh, Kenya and Francisco, please help me with number eight. Um, the intervention is not here. Uh, Rafael and he oh, Helen is not here. Iris, hi, Iris. How are you? So number nine, Rafael and Iris, please help us with that question. And uh, number 10, I think I'm missing a couple of guys, but I'm not sure if they are here. I think I saw Kenya. Okay, and I think some of the guys are not here. Uh, so Imelda, help me with number 10, please. Yes, there we go. I'm going to give you one minute, all right? So you can try to put it together and then we compare what you have. Con la, con la oración que está ahí vamos a formar una pregunta con dos dedos. Exactly, that is correct. You have to make a question, but if you pay attention, there is like one spot. Uh, for example, here, this information is missing. There is a blank. So you have to make a question um, that answers this specific piece. For example, here it says, uh, Millie has got a, en realidad no sé qué es lo que le dieron, no sé qué recibió. So my question has to be uh, done in order to answer this, right? Oh, ¿qué le dieron? So what did Millie uh, get, right? Mm -hmm. Or what has he gotten? What has he got? Mm -hmm. So yes, in the rest of the questions, it is exactly the same. So your question debe responderme esta información que me falta, this piece of information. Who did uh, Sherlock Holmes tell the truth? Ah, that's a very good one.
Who did Sherlock Holmes the letters? Oh, very nice, Imelda. So number 10 is beautiful. Exactly, very nice grammar. There we go. Okay, very, very good. Okay, guys, uh, number four, who has number four? Watson wrote this story when? I think when did Watson, Watson write this story? Very nice. There we go. Very, very good. Exactly. Number five, guys. Who has number five? Mauricio, Ricardo? Yes. Uh, number five. ¿Cuál es la pregunta para la número cinco? What would be the question in number five? Why? How? Who gave the chocolate cake to your mother? All right, thank you very much. Exactly. So here we said before, estas son las más fáciles, only we include who, okay, or what. Very good. Number six. Uh, Judy Belen, do you have number six? I think, yes, teacher. What do you have? Where did Miss Holmes put the cake? Where did... Uh, Miss Holmes put the cake. Oh, that sounds all right. Okay, sounds really good. Uh, Judy, do you have the same or do you have something different? Uh, different. When did Miss Holmes to take the cake? Right. Miss Holmes took the cake and put it in. And put it in. Mm, that's a very interesting one because you have when. But if we take a look, when me daría una respuesta bien diferente because here it says took the cake and put it in. So in, right, nos referimos como a un lugar. Um, si fuera de lugar, si fuera, de, perdón, de tiempo como when, um, that would be like in March, in April, in the morning, and put it in the morning, and put it in the morning. But you know, si tiene sentido, it makes sense. That could definitely work. Yeah, because no tengo más contexto. Okay, so yeah, that, that would work as well. So when this Miss Holmes uh, take the cake and put it, that will work. Or where did Miss Holmes uh, put the cake? So that is okay. That They sound good. Number Finally, seven. Finally, teacher. Number seven, I have <laughs> Arnoldo. Arnoldo says, who can drive a car better than James Bond? Uh, okay, that sounds all right. Is the number seven? Who else had number seven? Uh, tell me, do you have something different? I think tell me is gone. No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, probably she's gone. Okay, but that is a very good question, though. Number eight, she saves a week for her cosplay. Uh, costumes. So number eight, Kenya Francisco, what do you have in number eight? Why, is, uh, why saves a week for her cosplay customers? Mm, that's a very interesting question. So lo que why me daría una razón, right? Y lo que me falta acá es, que lo, yo no sé qué es lo que guarda. I don't really know what she's saving. Si es dinero, you know. Si son botones, paper, I have no idea here. She saves a week for her cosplay costume. So and that is what? 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 Saves okay, okay. A week sí. for her costume. Oh. oh, very nice. Sigamos la estructura y ordenamos la, pro la pregunta. That is a very good one. So, ¿cómo lo ordenamos, guys? What? What did she say? Oh, what did she say? Sounds good. What did she say for her cosplay costume? Very good. O también lo puedo hacer en presente. What? Do or does? Or are? What? Very. Do. Does. Does. What does she say? What did she say? Very good. Okay, number nine. Come on so, the I'm sorry? Come on the office. Like in the office. La serie. I have never seen it. 
I'm sorry. I'm super lost there. <laughs> okay, number nine, guys. Iris and Rafael, what do you have for number nine? Doctor Strange I, danced I think, the whole night. I think who did dance with the Doctor Strange the whole night. Very close, super close. Solo vamos a cambiar algo de posición and you got it. Okay, very good. So you said who. Y acá se necesito el auxiliar porque ya sé que estoy hablando del doctor uh, Strange. What is the auxiliary, guys? So doctor Dance, uh, doctor Strange Dance. I'm going to write it here. So who? That's all those people. So who? Did. Did. Uh -huh. Dance. Ah, but Did look at this. this yes, very good. Okay, so who did Dr. Dr. Strange? Okay, now that's the verb. I need the verb. Dance. Dance, sin cambios, with, there you go. La tenía super bien, you got it right? Solo es el orden, right? So we need to invert it, but nice, good job. Okay, number 10, so um, Imelda shared number 10, and that's very good. Who did Sherlock Holmes tell the truth? That sounds good. And the last one, guys, 11, is 44 years old. So can I fault in number, uh, number 11? What is missing number 11, guys? This is who? Very good, exactly. This is who. Who is 44 years old? All right. Okay, guys. And with this, we finish the practice for equations. Okay. Of course, vamos a retomarlo luego. We're going to retake this part. Eh, vamos a, re a repasar un poquito también luego. Eh, present perfect tenses, que creo que han quedado dudas with that topic. But in the meantime, vamos a practicar parte de la actividad that we had yesterday pending. The activity that was yesterday was a little bit related to um, questions, right? And uh, yesterday, guys, you had to select like a company or a product um, and you had to do something like this. So you have to make a questionnaire to interview the people, right? Questions very similar to how satisfied are you with the product? What is your impression on the product? Do you recommend this product to your friends or would you recommend the product to your friends? What specific features of the product impresses you? Uh, what features of the product disappointed you? Si se fijan, tenemos la estructura de las preguntas too to have a better understanding of it. Now, today, vamos a intentar, we are going to try to interview uh, which, uh, people, all right? We are going to try to interview uh, people. So, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer, guys? We are going to do something like this, all right? Imagine that I'm going to be representing McDonald's, for example. So, guys, if I represent McDonald's, uh, I am, and you are my customers, I'm going to interview you, right? Like, good morning, everybody. My name is Julie. Customer. I am the McDonald's, I don't know, uh, human resources counselor or the marketing counselor, marketing representative, I don't know. And uh, thank you for joining. And I have a couple of questions for you, all right? So you're going to interview. Lo que vamos a hacer, guys, what we will be doing today is we are going to make the conversation asking people's opinion about this product, all right? Uh, please, if you, whatever product you chose, I really need you to include the following. I really need you to include this part. Ask questions about the specific characteristics of the product. For example, um, okay, guys, what do you think about McDonald's hamburgers? Imagine that I, I work for McDonald's. What do you think about McDonald's hamburgers? <gasps> Why, okay. Uh, no puedo hacer preguntas de why, okay, because that is super broad, super general, but I can ask you, um, do you think that McDonald's eh, hamburgers are not eh, tasty, are not Pop delicious? Piper. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. A little hamburgers. Ah, because, oh, Very so, little. so they are small. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. This is the same activity of yesterday. Yes, that is correct. Las mismas preguntas que teníamos from yesterday, vamos a utilizar yesterday, but today vamos a entrevistar a los mismos compañeros. So what we are going to do, guys, is this. One person, right, is going to be the interviewer. So uno va a ser el entrevistador. One person is going to be the interviewer. And the rest of you guys uh, van a ser como los customers, right? Give me one second. I don't know why this is not working. So uh, pretty much that is going to be the activity like. So we are going to do this. Con las mismas preguntas de ayer, the same questions. Podemos incluir a little bit more related to the characteristics. Make a conversation asking about people's opinion on this product. So if I ask you, for example, um, guys, what do you think about Magia Blanca? Have you ever used Magia Blanca and uh, as a bleach in your products? Of course. Uh, okay, so Judy, what do you think about Magia Blanca? Suddenly, me sentí como que regresaba a kindergarten. <laughs> I was like, wait, where is that music from? Okay, Judy, uh, have you ever uh, used Maya Blanca? Yes, I think it is it is a better product. Oh, okay, nice to hear that. Um, have you ever had like an allergic reaction when using Maya Blanca? No, no aller, no. Allergies. No, no allergy. Ah, okay. Have you ever had any problem or any situation when manipulating the product? So we are going to ask like a lot of people, right? Imagine guys que le están preguntando sobre qué piensan del producto. So what do they think about the product? We are going to use the same questions, okay? Let's prepare a little conversation and then we present it as a group. So guys, vamos a ir a los mismos grupos de ayer. Excel, Excel product, aquí a Blanca. Uh, yes, but we are going to select the same product, right? The same product that you selected yesterday. Uh, so, guys, ¿se recuerdan quién estaba en su grupo? Do you remember who was in your group? Conmigo estaba Rafael. Imelda, creo, si no me equivoco. Okay, so Rafael. Y conmigo estaba Félix y Gaby. Okay, give me one moment. Rafa. Eh. Okay, Imelda tiene problemas de salud. No sé si las va a poder participar, but ella puede participar, you know, in the chat or something. So, Mauricio. Okay, guys. So, los estoy invitando ahorita a la sala. Uh, give me just a moment. So... In your group, Belen, who was in your group? Felix y Gaby. Ok, so Felix. Y creo que ya hasta después se añadió Judy, si no me Perfect. equivoco. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so Judy was having some issues with the internet, but hopefully uh, she can participate today. That is perfect. That's okay. Ok, guys. Um, so me faltan a couple of more groups. Guys, ¿en qué grupo estaba? Who was in your group? Uh, Andre, who was in your group? Estaba Margarita. Okay. Oh, Margarita not here. Y Carlos Avendaño. Okay. Carlos, creo que solo va a estar today as listener, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so, we have Ricardo, Carlos. ¿Quién más estaba en su grupo, perdón? Margarita, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, but I think Margarita is not here today. Okay, um, guys, what about the rest? Uh, thank you, Imelda. I got it. Uh, Rafael, ¿quién estaba en su grupo? Who was in your group? Mauricio. Uh, okay. Eh, no sé si estaba Oh, Mauricio, Imelda, mm -hmm. but uh, Imelda was not there, so... I got it, give me just a moment. So I got here. 
Angelica, Agatelmi, no, creo que de luz salió. Creo que él estaba con Helen, si sí, no mal me recuerdo. Ok, but she's working now. Ok. Y es teacher con Mauricio. Ok, so guys, I'm going to send you to the groups right now. And uh, uh, probably uh, algunos compañeros are going to join, you know, later. So I'm going to invite a couple more. Uh, creo que Iris no estaba el día de ayer, Francisco either. So vamos a trabajar, guys, with a couple of your classmates. Give me just a moment. Arnoldo either. So today, guys, uh, vamos a agregar un poco más de miembros so you can work there. Okay, guys, sure. vámonos a los grupos, please. Let's go to the groups. Um, and uh, let's get started. Teacher, can yes, you, um, ¿cómo sería? Eh, permitir compartir pantalla. Thank you so much for the reminder. No sé por qué no se puede, but yes, you're ready now. Thank you. Okay, so. Number four. It goes here.
Okay, guys, give me just a second. Think. Wait. Uh, do you hear echoing my voice? No, teacher. No? Okay. Yeah, because I have it in my phone, so I'm still like, I think that I have to, um, I have Zoom twice. Okay, guys, so pretty much we were having this little uh, story day in different groups. So at the end, we had Lejia Maja Blancas and we had McDonald's. Um, and Francisco and Helen, what was the, the topic or what was the product that you chose at the end? Okay, Francisco is not back. Yeah, Francisco is back. Francisco, what is the product that uh, Helen and you selected? Sedex teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sedex. That sounds good. It sounds all right. Okay, guys. So it is like a very brief uh, description of products and uh, satisfaction. I really want to listen to your questions, especially because yesterday I didn't have the chance to listen to them. And let's start with group number two, guys. So, creo que era el grupo más grande. I think that was the biggest group. I have Andrea, Belen, uh, Enrique, Imelda, uh, Gabi, and Yuri. Guys, who is the interviewer in the group? Was Andrea, is Andrea, sorry, and Judy. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, Felix, uh, you can start. Hi, sister, what are you doing today? Hi, uh, well, I have a really bad day. I had some troubles in them, but I think I managed um, very well. Uh, how about, what about you, Helen? B Sorry, Helen. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, for me, it was the opposite. It was kind of boring day, but maybe tomorrow will be a birthday. And what about uh, this restaurant? You, do you want to eat? Uh, uh, you feel comfortable uh, with this choice? Yeah, I think McDonald's would be a really good option. Um, I really love their hamburgers. Excellent. And what do you think, Felix? Yes, I think the Boquero hamburger sounds good. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to McDonald's. Hi. We can do a satisfaction survey. Yes, of course. Okay, thanks. Would you buy our meal again? Eh, just um, solo como recordar el orden. Félix, Gaby y yo, así vamos a ir. Right. Okay. Can you repeat the question, please? Would, would you buy our meal again? Yes, I buy it again. Absolutely, I love it. Oh. Okay. Uh, how long you waiting for your food? Uh, we waited like um five minutes, I think. Yeah, it was very quickly. How was that temperature? Temperature or of your food? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Was the uh, was the restaurant pet friendly? Um, unfortunately, I think no. Uh, I have no never um a McDonald's that is pet friendly. Okay, continue, Andrea. Okay, do you think the children area is safe? Yes, I think it's safe. You found parking quickly? Felix? 
Yeah, a uh, little, <laughs> little bit quickly. Um, where the restroom clean? And um, just a bit. I think the toilet uh well weren't weren't clean enough. Okay. What can you recommend for our ser our service or, or product? I think you could uh like order more rounds to clean the, the restroom because there were enough uh towel paper to uh secar tus manos and also there was no uh, enough soap. Yeah, in my case, my recommendation for you, it could be that you have um maybe not in this actual restaurant, maybe in other uh, sede, in other McDonald's, but maybe you consider open up a friendly area. It could be very good. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, sounds really cool. That was a really nice one. I like that you included a, like a previous conversation, you know, like choosing McDonald's, but it calls my attention that you said everything was perfect. <laughs> um, guys, what do you think in general about McDonald's? Do you like the rest, the hamburgers there? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a little expensive, yeah. Little but price. for example, if you, if you took, yeah, the price is expensive. But for example, uh, in my case, I ordered for other medi medios. Uh, it, it's like it's cheaper than in the restaurant. Oh, seriously? Yeah. For example, oh. in pedidos, yeah. Is it cheaper? It's because I got a lot of coupons. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm the coupons girl. Oh, <laughs> so okay. It's, it, I'm prepared for uh, when had a lot of promotions. And for example, was one day, and if you pick the coupon, you have a Big Mac for $1. Oh, sounds really nice. I didn't know that there were a lot of discounts or yeah. offers using coupons. Okay, sounds good. Guys, I really like uh, the questions were okay. The questions were very nice. Uh, I think that they were definitely in agreement with the questions. Uh, solo, just a little something. Um, give me just a second. Uh, there was just something that caught my attention that was about the time waiting, right? So, uh, how long? So, did you wait? And that would be it, right? Like, how long did you wait for your hamburger? Or how long were you waiting for your hamburger? That would be the only change that I would make, but that was a very nice uh, description there. Okay, guys. Uh, so, antes de pasar asistencia, just a little something. Yesterday, I received a couple of uh, audios. Gracias a quienes me enviaron los audios, guys. Uh, thank you so much for that. Todavía me faltan algunos. Please send it over to me. La tarea era features and characteristics, right? So vamos a hablar un poquito de las características de un producto que seleccionaran. Eh, remember to use un par de conectores. No es obligación que usemos siempre farther, more, farther, more, or, the, eh, you know, all the time, in addition, in addition, sino que podemos usarlo una vez y ya está bien, right? Uh, but please record it, guys. Necesito escuchar sus voz too, because that is important. Now, ahora sí, paso asistencia. Ayúdenme con sus camaritas, please. Help me with your cameras. Just a moment. Y regálenme confirmación verbal que estamos acá. Guys, eh, todos terminaron la sección número dos, right? Everything, everybody's good. Nadie me debe sección dos. Teacher, yo el 93% tengo ya de la plataforma. Super, super, super genial. Hay alguien que me, me deba todavía la dos. Yes, teacher. In my case, I I I have some problems because I don't have internet. Uh, so it, it, I'm using my cell phone full time. Uh, oh. So it's kind of complicated, but I will put I will have internet. I hope tomorrow, and I will complete it the the most I can. Thank you. Yes, please. Because uh, 
porque ahora me, me piden que envíe el, 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 el informe you know, del avance. So please guys, uh, I'm going to, me, me confirme el día de mañana you know, cuando ya lo tenga completo eh, para no afectarle in any way. So guys, um, ayúdenme con la confirmación verbal, please, that you're here. So I got, okay, Andrea. Present. Gracias, Belén. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos, Carlos was here. Eh, Delmi. Delmi creo que salió. Eh, Felix. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present, present. Thank you so much. Uh, Helen. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yes, ya la veo, mis. <laughs> Imelda. Well, Imelda is a salud, but thank you, Imelda. I know you're here. Um, Iris. Well, Iris, Present. I think, there you go. Thank you so much, Miss. Uh, Arnoldo. Arnoldo was here. Hey, Ricardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenya. I think Kenya is working. Present, teacher. And Thank you, uh, Angelica. Great to see you, Angelica. Thank you so much for your camera. Uh, Gabby? Present. Thank you, Gabby. Rafael? Present. Thank you. Uh, Reina? Well, Margarita's not here. Ruben? Present, teacher. Thank you. Ruben, yes. Ya un minuto, casi, ¿va? <laughs> no, Ruben, ¿qué es eso? <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, mandame el audio, please. Uh, Judy. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Judy. And uh, Mauricio. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So let me just go ahead with the next person. Eh, gracias a todos por unirse el día de ahora. Me ayudan con la plataforma. Please. Todavía a todos, a todos. a little good bit. Night. Thank you. Have a good night. And uh, Judy, si me regalo un par de minutitos, porfa. Los demás guys estamos dismiss. Bye bye. Have a good night. Look. Con su nuevo look. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Uh, bye, Carlos. See you. See you. Give me just a moment. Let me just. Clean this up a little, and there we go. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos here. How how you doing? Is everything okay? Okay. Yeah. Well. Please. That that looks good. Realmente le queda muy bien. That looks really nice on you. Thank you, teacher. Sí. You look... Un verde reto mi cabello. Ya a mí no me gusta. I know. <laughs> I know. No, but you know, se ve diferente, but nice. So yeah. probably because siempre le veo el cabello light together, right? But you look nice. Already, Miss. So uh, pretty much eh, nuestra one-on-one is like, primero para revisar si hay como algún tema pendiente, algún tema que le eh, sienta que se le está complicando, or si no hay ningún tema, podemos también practicar a little bit. Eh, primero, Miss, quiero aprovechar eh, quiero agradecerle, you know, por siempre estar acá. Creo que no me ha faltado ninguna clase. I think siempre le he visto ahí, you know, participando. Um, I know that sometimes, eh, pues a uno le da como un poquito de pena, uno le da, uh, no está segura de cuál es la respuesta, etc. Pero siempre le veo participando, you know, with the camera. So thank you so much. Porque sí se notan las ganas de, de, de estar en esto, you know, de, de querer participar, querer aprender en everything. So, um, cuéntame, Miss, ¿cómo se siente so far? How do you feel? I feel good. Okay. Do you I feel that like you're it. practicing? I like it. Oh. I like English. Nice. It Great. It's very important for me. Okay. It, I have uh, a problem with my internet. Mm -hmm. eh, todo este mes casi. Oh, yes. Lluvia. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. But, you know, sí, a veces he visto que la saca, pero inmediatamente you come back. <laughs> so at the end, hopefully, no nos va a afectar mucho. Um, so talking about yeah. English, uh, what do you think is the most what do you think is the most difficult um, ability so far? 
Uh, are you having difficulties with listening, with vocabulary? Because I think that you communicate quite well. So what do you think is the most difficult ability at the moment? The most difficult, I think, probably is listening. Okay. Um, when I give instructions, when I speak, is it difficult for you to understand me? Really? Miss, si gusta, apague la este. camarita un momento, please. Creo que el internet se le está, it's breaking. There we go. Okay. ¿Me escucha? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. You were saying? Sometimes uh, listening of, um, of uh, instructions. Mm -hmm. Listening to instructions. A veces la, las instrucciones se quizás muy rápido, tal vez por eso me, me fundo. Oh, okay, okay. What about the contrary? Uh huh. Nice. Okay, great to hear that. What about videos? Do you normally listen to videos in English? Yeah. Um, I listen to music, to music in English. Okay. Um, the movie in English. Oh, really? Wow. That's amazing. That's um, really good. It's, it's very difficult for me, but I, I will intend to. You try, and that's what matters the most. Okay, very nice. So listen up. Uh, um, I have a little exercise for you in that case, so we can work with listening. And especially because listening is the less abilities, more difficult, as you know. And the more we listen, um, the better we get, you know. So, para mí también, listening was one of the most difficult abilities to get. Um, what is your What is your cell phone number, Judy? Can you give me the first two numbers? My num My number. Yes, my, give me the first name. two. No, no, your phone number. Ah, my phone. Yes, please. Is Samsung. Okay. Uh, and what is the, the first two digits of your phone number? I oh, don't understand. I got you. You're Araceli, right? In in, yeah. in WhatsApp. I got Araceli. You. My first name is Judy. Mm -hmm. The second is Araceli. Oh, okay. Got you. Okay. Um, but but what do you prefer? I always call you Judy. <laughs> I prefer a silly. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to change that. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Um, let's do something. We are going to do a little exercise here. Okay. I'm going to send you um I'm going to send you one a book. Give me one second. Okay. And, uh, and I'm going to send you one little exercise. So, as you said, um, listening is one of the most difficult activities we can do. But lo que vamos a hacer is the following. Con el ejercicio that I'm going to send you, pero es que solo encuentro super, super long. So with the exercise I'm going to send you, vamos a ponerlo, we're going to play it. No vea la, la escritura, so don't look at it, solo escúchelo, just listen to it, e intente escribirlo, so try to write it down, como si fuera un dictado, right? Okay. As if it were like a dictation thing. So, but give me one second because I don't find it. And uh, so, al final, you know, cuando realmente you said, I know, I give up, or um i don't i don't know what else to i don't really get this part i don't really understand what this is about so a menos que realmente sea por vencida so 
in that case, uh, you can look at the book. Okay. Pero no lo encuentro. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Okay, no problem. I'm just, okay, I'm sending this one. Comenzamos okay. con este. Um, I already sent it in WhatsApp. Let's start with this exercise. This is easy reading, pero no lo va a leer. You're not going to read it. Solamente okay. póngalo, play it. Escúchalo. De ser posible, dele vuelta, right? Puede cambiar la velocidad. You can change the, the, the speed of the audio. And tome su cuaderno, tome su lápiz y tómelo como un dictado. Puede ir como pedacito por pedacito. Play it, play it, play it, you know? Um, and al final, when you finish writing it all, entonces sí compara lo que escribió con lo que tiene, you know, in the story. Y revisa si eso es como lo de qué se trataba. Um, movies are amazing to practice English, pero um, quizás en este punto no le recomendaría movies todavía. I wouldn't recommend movies porque va muy rápido. They are too fast. Okay. A menos que sean eh, animadas, you know, como para niños, Shrek, things like those. They are okay. super good. O sí le recomiendo utilizar eh, dibujos animados, you know. A lot of cartoons, a lot of animated, porque esos son mucho más fácil eh, de, para agarrar vocabulario, to understand. Y pues ya más adelante puede comenzar con movies, you know, porque el vocabulario es como más para adultos, especially. So, um, they use a lot of phrasal verbs. I'm sorry? In the music? Music is great, but what kind of music do you listen to? What, what kind of music do you like? Um, like reggae I, or like romantic music? The classic. For example? The classics. Like uh, rock. November Rain. Oh, no, that's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I thought you meant the música clásica, uh -huh. so I was like, no, <laughs> no, that's okay, yeah. no, super nice, but si le recomiendo, si tiene karaoke, eh, hágalo con karaoke, you know, if you listen to music, that is perfect, but si tiene, you know, el tiempo, póngale la letra, so look for music uh, or songs with lyrics, right, la letra in English le llamamos lyrics, so songs with lyrics, eh, or karaoke okay. lyrics, ajá, and uh, porque la idea también de, de inglés es precisamente entender cuál es la palabra y entender la pronunciación. So look for that e intente cantarlas, vaya leyéndola y vaya cantándola. Eso ayuda mucho con pronunciación, that helps a lot, con listening también, porque después usted va a decir, ah, esta palabra ya la vi antes, you know, I know what it is. So that helps a lot, pero con letra okay. todavía. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Yes, Miss, intentemos este ejercicio. Yeah. Cuando tenga tiempo, eh, son dos minutos, pero le va a tomar probablemente 10, 15 minutos completarlo. Y luego usted me dice cómo se sintió. Please, envíeme siempre feedback. How you felt with the exercise. Se siente que le funcionó para el listening. Y podemos ver qué otro libro, qué otras estrategias o activities uh, podemos ir haciendo little by little. All right. So, okay, aquí le dejo ya mi tarea extra. Thank you so much for su tiempo and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. So have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.